da, 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 da. Good morning, church. Happy Easter. He is risen. He is risen indeed. All right, kids, it's Easter Sunday, which is a happy day, so we're going to sing the song Happy Day. How about that? History. Death is beaten, you have rescued me. Sing it out, Jesus is alive. The empty cross, the empty grave. Life eternal, you have won the day. Shout it out, Jesus is alive. He's alive. A very happy Easter. 
written by Tim Thornborough, illustrated by Jennifer Davison. Jesus came to the city of Jerusalem. A huge, excited crowd welcomed Jesus. They knew that he was God's promised king. But some people did not want Jesus to be in charge. So they sent soldiers to arrest him. They hated Jesus because he said he was the son of God. They put King Jesus on a cross to die. Jesus' friends were very scared. Jesus died. His friends cried. They buried Jesus in a rock tomb and put a big heavy stone over the door. Jesus' friends were so, so sad. On the third day, early in the morning, some women came to the tomb. But the stone was rolled away. Jesus was not there. They were so, so confused. Some angels appeared. They said, He is not here. He is risen. Just as he promised. The women were astonished. The women ran and told Jesus' friends what they had seen and what the angels had said. He is risen. But they didn't believe them. Suddenly, Jesus was right there with them. He spoke to them. He ate with them. He showed them his hands and feet. He really was alive again. Jesus' friends were... Startled. Afraid. Amazed. Confused. Don't be afraid, said Jesus. It really is me. I died, and now I am alive again. Now you can be friends with God forever. Jesus' friends were... Happy. Happier. The happiest they had ever been in their whole lives. Then King Jesus sent his friends to tell everyone the good news. They happily spread the message all over the world. And now you have heard the message about how King Jesus died and rose again so that, so that we can be friends with God forever. What, what face will you make now? Here's a way to remember the Easter story. We're gonna need a couple of motions. The first one is a cross, and so you're gonna need two fingers, one on each hand, and then you put them over like this to make a cross. The second motion is a tomb, so you're gonna use your a flat hands and then a fist, and then put it on top of the flat hands. The third motion is um, to represent the number three, so you're gonna use three fingers, one, two, three. And then lastly, to emphasize um, the whole entire thing that we're going to be saying is we're gonna, you can use a, a fist pound or a stomp with your foot. Okay, so here is how the words go. Jesus died on the cross, you put your cross. He was buried in the tomb, you put your tomb out. And on the third day, put your three fingers out, he rose again. And that's the Easter story. Okay, let's do it together. Jesus died on the cross. He was buried in a tomb, and on the third day, he rose again. And that's the Easter story. Hey, and girls. Well, as you know from Pastor Glenn's storytelling, you know the meaning of Easter by now, and that Jesus died on the cross for you and for me, and he rose from the dead. Because of that, he kept his promise. Bible story. I mean a Bible verse time and we're gonna go right now to Matthew 28 6. If you can't see it with me, he is not here. For he has risen. He said, 
is not here, for he has risen, as he said. Matthew 28, 6. One more time. Can you say it with, <laughs> can you say it with Samuel? Go. He is not here, for he has risen, as he said. And now, it's time for Silly Songs with Mr. Ed. The part of the show where Mr. Ed comes out and sings a silly song. Hi kids, Mr. Ed here. Now raise your hand if you think you're going to college. If you're going to college when you get older, raise your hand. Now, good, good. Well, uh, let me give you a secret, boys and girls. There's one thing you need to know or else you will never go to college. You know what that is? Well, why don't you pause the video and you can tell your parents what you think that is. Ready? Get ready to pause. Pause now. Okay, you're back. Well, the answer is you need to know what vowels are. Do you know what vowels are? Well, they're part of the alphabet. Here's one. A, and what's this one? E, and what's this one? I, and here's another one. O, and here's another one. U, and some people count Y, but we're not going to do that. Boys and girls. You've got to know your vowels or else you will not go to college. So how many here are going to college? That's right. So I'm going to teach you a song, boys and girls. And when you learn this song, you will know your vowels. And I'm even going to give you a prize if you can sing this song perfectly. So again, pause your video and discuss with your parents what this prize is going to be, okay? Why don't you pause it now? Welcome back, boys and girls. And I will teach you the banana song. And here's a sentence that is based on. I want to eat eight apples and bananas. Say that with me. I want to eat eight apples and bananas. Now we're going to replace the vowels in this sentence with just the one vowel. And we're going to start with A. It goes like this. Away, K, A, away. Oh, let's sing the bass song first without changing. I want to eat, I want to eat eight apples and bananas. I want to eat, I want to eat eight apples and bananas. You join in with me, including your parents. I want to eat, I want to eat eight apples and bananas. Very good. I want to eat, I want to eat eight apples and bananas. A, away, take a. Away, take eight, eight apples and bananas. Away, take eight, away, take eight, eight apples and bananas. E, a wheat tea, eat, a wheat tea, eat, eat, apples and bananas. A wheat tea, eat, a wheat tea, eat, eat, apples and bananas. I, a white tie, I, a white tie, I, I, apples and bananas. A white tie, I, a white tie, I, I, apples and bananas. Oh, a woke toe, oh, a woke toe, oh, oh, apples and bananas. A woke toe, oh, a woke toe, oh, oh, apples and bananas. You. A you two two, a you two oo oo, apples and bananas. A woo two oo, 
A woo to oo 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 and banoos. Very good, boys and girls. Now let's pause the video, and you can sing it from the very beginning. And remember, if you get them all right, you're gonna get that prize. Ready? Right now, you pause right now. Okay, stop. Okay. Do I say now we're gonna put it together? Do I say now we're gonna put it together? Okay. You ready? Okay, now we're gonna put the art project together. You're gonna take your base page and you're gonna take the one that looks like the hill and the, the, um, the half piece of paper. Then you're gonna take the one that is the tomb that we made. Because the stone was rolled away, you're gonna put it a, a, um, a to the side. And then you're gonna go ahead and make your crosses. You're gonna put one on one side, and then on the middle, one on the other side, and then the last one. Just like that. And then you're gonna put the crosses, like so. Because we know it was the morning or the daytime, we're gonna go ahead and put the sun. This is how your page should look like. And then once you finish and you have it exactly how you want it, the white side up, label each corner, A, B, C, or D. Step one, fold corner A up to corner C. Steven, are there any tips here? Be sure to not be sure to make it even. If not, it will not match.
do not unfold it. Next, pinch at the middle top. Next, you bring, you put your end and your thumb on top of the origami paper and your index finger under the origami paper. Press down. Make sure the inside is straight. Hold it together and make it like a point. Do the same for the opposite side. When you're done, let's do it finish. Paper over so that the point, the top point, is facing you. I mean, the top point is facing your opposite direction. Next, you um, you fold one of the um, sides down. Do not fold the other side down. You do the same for the other. So what does it look like after you've it's folded these? When, you when you have completed this step, your butterfly should look like a samurai hat. Next, flip it over. Flip the hat over and then take the point and point and fold it back up until you cannot. Next, fold the tip back. Next, flip the butterfly over. When you see the point coming up, flip fold it down. It down. Fold it down. Next, put your, both of your index fingers on top of the butterfly and under. And your thumbs under the your butterfly. Index. Next, Next, fold, fold your butterfly in half. Next, Put your, it up put, your thumb, it up. put your thumb and your index finger into the little pockets on the side to fluff them up. So what do we call that part? We call it fluffing Fluff and puffing. Then unfold your butterfly. Well done. Congratulations, you have completed your butterfly. Bye. Remember the Lord is with you. Hebrews. Bye. Bye. Oh, and thank Happy you, Easter. Hebrews out. Go. Happy butterfly making and, and happy, happy Easter. Easter.